Hello, this is Ronnie. I'm back here with a clip taken from a long video that I just finished to record for my subscribers. I'm leaving the option for my services at 50% off for the first year open and I'll be providing further details after the clip ends. So if you're interested, please stay on. I'll be talking to you again at the end of the uh, clip. I would like you also to read carefully the disclaimer that I'm going to put up now so that uh, it is clear to you before you uh, go ahead and watch the video. This is uh, just a standard thing. Okay, this is uh, the monthly scale of XAO, the Philadelphia Gold and Silver Sector Index. Now I'm going to hazard an educated guess. I have absolutely no guarantee that this is correct, but it looks interesting. So let's see. How about treating the, the entire price action of many, many years, uh, all of this? and could even date earlier from an earlier date somewhere. But the point is that I think that it converged into a clearly definable uh, triangle. And this is not the log. If I switch to the log, let's have a look. I get my log right here. Okay, so it accentuates the, the shape of the triangle, you can see. Uh, and I put some labelings here, and again, it's not high confidence, but I think that there are quite a few strong arguments in favour of that. That is my A, and that's my A, B, C, which gives me my B, and then squeezed in C, D, E. I'm saying squeezed in is nevertheless the monthly scale, so it spent quite a bit of time here, and it looks like it was enough. And now it's going on that uh, fabulous surge that we'll see it in due course um, registering a new high uh, and basically leaving all this massive trading range of many decades, many decades leaving all that behind. This is very exciting stuff. Um, whenever you go into a multi-decade new high or new low, this is an earthquake. It's an earthquake and the re repercussions uh, well, the reverberations uh, will be with us for a very long time, very long time, okay? Uh, now, let's have a look at the weekly, and we are with the log, okay? So we have an A, B, C, D, E, and the E lag, basically, yeah, took place right here, and you can see the surge, um, and let's now go and see the daily, and we can speech, uh, switch uh, comfortably to a non-log. So we can focus on the very short term here. Uh, that is my one. Let me show you. Uh, since the chart of gold itself is not terribly clear uh, in the relatively short term, this one looks like it could actually quite uh, be quite helpful. We start from here, okay? We have one, we have two, we have one, two. We run up, possibly finishing the third here, here, or here. We are busy in the, uh, tracing the fourth and we are likely going to shoot even higher. Okay, this might actually take place today or uh, early next week. Um, if that's the case, we will be in a position to say we have third wave done, okay, on this scale and then lateral movement for about a week or so uh, and then up again. Okay, so this in itself is a wave count that is reasonably clear and uh, for now I find it helpful. So let's see um, how far that's going to take us as an aid uh, to our analysis. Uh, let's have a look at gold. Here's gold, that's uh, the four hour scale. Just when you think that gold is getting tired, it gets another kick and boom, it goes higher. This is what uh, a bull market is all about. Inspiration that doesn't stop. It is really fascinating. 
Now, does it make sense my one, two, three, four, five? Well, technically, yes, it's, it could be an extended fifth, but you can see that uh, uh, given what we have just examined in the case of Xao, it doesn't look very likely. Now, I will tell you when uh, the whole idea of the one, two, three, four, five will die. Uh, if we do have a correction, and it's difficult to see gold now falling by uh, uh, seventy dollars because it's so strong. But suppose we have that correction. At some point, we are going to have some correction. But let's suppose we have something like that. Now, if we get if we get anything like that, that is uh, over let's say um, three to five days, uh, then that tells you the one, two, three, four, five is dead. Because if this is correct, it will come back down, which quite frankly, at this point in time, I, I don't see doing it. It's just like, you know, it's it's way too strong to come back by by huge chunk, by something like, uh, what, $200, $250. No, 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 I, I, I can't see this. So I, I think the odds, are, um, the odds are diminishing by the hour that this is a one, two, three, four, five. So we might actually end up uh, sticking with uh, a much more uh, bullish interpretation for gold. Anyhow, now uh, the last thing you want to do in your life is to sell gold short. Uh, please don't do that. Don't do that. Don't try to play smart with a market like that. Yes, if you're not comfortable jumping in and buying now because it already rose so much, fine, I understand, uh, especially if you trade futures. But don't even dream. Don't dream of uh, trying to play the short side in, in gold now. Here's silver. Silver is up to the challenge, in my opinion, of blasting into uh, a completely new territory. Um, we know that when silver is serious about moving up, it moves, it moves. And here I took this as a possible one to introduce another interpretation that we might have seen a one, two, one, two structure. You remember that for now, this is feasible. Uh, so let's go first with uh, what could be a third wave on this scale. So we have a one, two, we have three, we have four, we run up. And if we are done with the fifth leg on this scale, we may have now reached the end of the third. Okay, if that's the case, we're going to have a correction, a brief correction. Uh, I don't even think it's going to go back to 2740, although I would love that to happen. So it gives me a chance to uh, jump in, uh, increase my position. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get that. Uh, it might be even a briefer and a, uh, a narrower uh, range uh, for this correction, something like that. Okay, uh, and that would fit the bill as a fourth wave and then blast blast clear the roof just take off the roof above this and that's that's spectacular it's coming it's coming whether it's going to come uh, in a week or two uh, i think it's coming i don't see a support for a serious bearish reading at this point meaning if someone comes up and says listen this is coming I'll say anything is possible, but I don't see a support for this in so many markets that are where we're seeing the bull unfolding in really very powerful uh, uh, moves. Yes, the metals, etc. So this is out of question, in my opinion. Uh, we could have some struggle as it is coming to a point where in the past it, uh, it backed off substantially. So yes, there is definitely some serious uh, resistance here to reckon with. Uh, but all in all, I am pretty confident Silva uh, might take its time, whether it's one, two, three weeks, but it's going to continue hard. That's how I bet my money. The website, the homepage is right here. It's uh, Wave Mastery, www.wavemastery.com. Yeah, point uh, Wave Mastery in one word, dot com. That takes you to the homepage. You can uh, scroll down, look through some things that I've written here, some recommendations from past users and current users. And that is essentially the offer currently open uh, only to first time subscribers. OK, so there is the daily service, uh, daily videos that are preceded by trial. So you can take the trial for uh, one week. And at the end of that, if you're happy, you do nothing, you go on to the plan 
of um, half price, essentially 79 presents half price of the normal price, and that will be good for one year. That means uh, 12 um, payments of 79. Uh, if you want to watch just the weekend videos, then you go for this one, and uh, it does give you access to um, the weekend videos, and uh, I often also insert a video as a bonus uh, midweek just to keep you on track to see a little bit uh, you know where things are moving because sometimes one week of full price action is a lot and the wave count can change especially if you're a short-term trader uh, you really want to know uh, what's happening so that is essentially the situation if you decide to go for example for the daily videos you uh, click here it takes you to the page where it explains to you you should read that it explains to you what um, what is covered, etc., etc. If you like what you read, you click here, subscribe. It takes you to uh, PayPal uh, because uh, my uh, paying system is through PayPal, and um, you pay through PayPal. You can see you have the trial at nine ninety nine. That's uh, for the first seven days. As I said, if you like what you see, do nothing. It just it just goes automatically. If you don't like, you can cancel. Or if you don't know how to cancel, or you have any doubt, you have any question, you can write to me, of course. Uh, once you go through and you pay, you come back, uh, PayPal will send you back to my website uh, to um, fill in your um, profile details, uh, choose your login. And uh, once you do that, you will be led uh, automatically to the page with... Uh, with the links to the various videos classified by date. If at any point in time in this process you have a problem, things are not going uh, as I'm describing to you right now, all you have to do is just contact me and I'll help you out. Um, that is essentially it. So um, you have one week to look at things. I would like to just spend a minute uh, about the website itself. I have written here a few articles. Uh, is this website for me? You can go through that one. Psychology and trading, trading and the arts. Why join? Yes, each of these articles uh, could uh, perhaps uh, help you to to see um, how to relate to my website. But there is no substitute, in my opinion, to actually take a trial. You know, you take a trial, and I want to say another thing. You take a trial, and you can't make up your mind. You want more time to think. Fine, I understand that. Then you cancel, but then you are not allowed to take another trial. Please, I want to be very clear about that. There are people who abuse this, and it's really um, not right. Uh, you're not allowed to take more than one trial, okay? A trial is a trial. But if you're interested, after you take a trial, you're interested to come back, you can still benefit from the low price for the next full year. But you have to write to me, and then I will send you a special link without a trial, and, and, and if you join then, you're going to go immediately onto the reduced price plan for 12 months, okay? Uh, if you take another trial after you took already one, I am going to have to cancel that and refund you. And if you do that two or three times, I'm just going to blacklist you because there are people who have been doing it and I'm afraid this is really absolutely not right. Um, this is subscribe here. Uh, use subscription. Once you are... Uh, once you are logged in, you will see this one highlighting you uh, uh, daily service videos or weekend service videos. Yeah, it will show which one you really um, um, have the right to, to access. The daily service videos, to be very clear, they cover the weekend service videos. Okay, so you don't have to subscribe to both. The daily covers everything I do. The weekend, of course, is more selective. Now, I have here resources, there are chart galleries right here, uh, chart one, two, three, there are plenty, plenty of chart, uh, charts here that give you uh, an idea how to go about uh, uh, subdividing uh, various uh, market action here. There, I covered a lot, a lot of markets, and you can see there is history here that could be very interesting for you to just go through, let's see, Platinum, for example. Yes, that's 1973 to 1978. If you click right on top, it shows you the hand. The chart opens up big. You can print it if you like. Um, here's an example of Platinum, April um, uh, 
1980. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then the huge correction that followed after that. Uh, so they, they plenty for you, whichever market you're interested, uh, interested in the financials, uh, commodities, precious metals, etc. Uh, okay, so that chart galleries, then useful links, as it, as the name implies, yes. Recommended reading list, you have uh, a long list of uh, books here that I've read over the years that I found very interesting. Of course, I have many more books that uh, I would like to add. It's just a question of time. I don't always have time to update this one. But the books that you find here uh, did help me in the beginning. And still, uh, the information here is very valuable in these books. For example, Kroll. I don't know how many of you heard about Stanley Kroll. Stanley Kroll was um, a really imaginative fellow trader uh, that wrote... Um, wrote very well about his own trading and in trading in general. I learned a lot from uh, from these books. And of course, uh, if you haven't heard about uh, Reminiscence of a Stock Operator, you should uh, get this book and read it. Uh, you will not regret. Uh, this is uh, uh, a book that um, most traders, I think, uh, have come across and read. It is very, very interesting. And uh, as you go down the list, you will see if there are things that are of interest to you. Uh, of course, uh, go ahead, get them. Some of them are in, even available online for free as a PDF. Uh, check that. Uh, if you have questions about that, you can even uh, contact me. Here's the contact us. And you uh, put your name. Please make sure you give me the right email address. Message, simple maths, submit. I get it you'll hear from me. I'm based in Belgium. So if you write to me from Australia or from the US and I'm having uh, my arrest, do not be surprised if I don't react quickly, okay? Uh, normally within uh, within a day you will have a reply from me. I, I check my email uh, uh, fairly regularly. So that's about it. Hope to see you visiting my website. Hope to see you taking a trial. Um, if you have any questions, again, don't hesitate. Get in touch with me and uh, wishing you great trading week. Bye now.